conversation over in Italy, where the death toll continues to climb from a deadly earthquake there. We now know at least 100 people are dead. The death toll has kind of been all over the place, but it has been steadily rising uh, by all accounts and all reporting we're getting. And the latest official word is that at least 100 have been killed. You're seeing it, some of the video here of people who have been plucked out of, uh, under a lot of this rubble. Again, this is an earthquake that shrunk at about 3.30 in the morning in this town of L'Aquila. This is about 60 miles northeast of Rome. This is a very old town. A lot of the buildings here are literally hundreds of years old, and it is the worst hit town that we know of so far. Reports are still coming in from other places surrounding L'Aquila, so we could uh, see a high, a much higher death toll. We do know of uh, hundreds and hundreds who have been injured as well. Thousands of people are helping in this rescue effort, but again, this is some of the latest video we're getting. Uh, you see a man there just being pulled out. A lot of this uh, happening around that particular town. Also, some other video, video here to show you. According to the government, about 1,500, uh, again, injured. A ton of rescues we are seeing like this, and the efforts continue around the clock. The prime minister there, again, some of the still shots we can show you here of some of the rescues. Italian prime minister we know of, Silvio Berlusconi, had to cancel a trip. He was heading to Moscow uh, for a visit, and now he has stayed behind. He's going to declare a state of emergency there. Uh, but again, the death toll continues to rise. At least 100 people have been killed. I want to turn it over now to our, uh, to our Chad Myers. I want to bring you in on this, Chad. You've been keeping an eye on, and it's always helpful to see some of these maps and get more perspective about these earthquakes and again where they are exactly so show us exactly where this place is and exactly uh, i guess how this damage kind of went out from this epicenter about 60 miles from rome really and you think wow did rome get hurt and there wasn't much shaking in rome itself this was a very shallow quake about six miles deep and so it shook right above the epicenter and didn't spread out very much let me give you an idea this town you're talking about at about 2200 feet Right now, the temperature for these rescues at 43 degrees. It's not going to go much lower than that, but that's cold enough with fog. And there you see these tiny little just alleyways where cars wouldn't even fit because this town was built hundreds of years ago. That means it was built well before any type of earthquake insulation was ever instituted. And then there are these towns that are even closer to the epicenter that we have no information whatsoever, completely cut off from electricity and from phone service at this 6-3 earthquake. And you can just begin to see the Apennine Mountains there in the background. See how mountainous this is, how rugged this is? And this is part of why the earthquake happened here. In 1997, we had a 6-0 earthquake about 50 miles from this point. This is just a region where, where plates are coming together. That's why the mountains are there in the first place. That's why the mountains and the Rockies are all in there in the first place. As things come together, things push up. And the earth hasn't stopped cooling down, hadn't stopped moving. That's why we still have earthquakes, too, right there in the middle. All right. And a mess going over there. Chad, we appreciate you as always being able to break it down like that and show us those maps. Thank you.